What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we discuss software engineering by example. You know, guys, uh, it's we're we're reaching uh, 1,700 subs and plus lots of watch hours and views, and uh, more than 150 videos up to this date. Uh, I think March the third today is March the third. 2018 and I just realized that uh, I don't have an intro video for this channel uh, I think I owe you owe it to you guys to at least tell you my story who who is Hussein and uh, uh, Why I'm doing this and what is my background and where did I come from? Where am I now and all these kind of things? It's just like in a very short maybe I'm, I'm, I'm hitting five minutes video. I'll try to summarize uh, my story in five minutes uh, don't want to bore you guys but yeah one minute's already passed so yeah four minutes but yeah guys uh, yeah as uh, as I told you my name is Hussein uh, in Arabic it's Hussein uh, Hussein uh, that's another pronunciation but uh, yeah uh, I was born in Bahrain it's a very small island in the Middle East in the Gulf uh, uh, the Gulf of Persian Gulf Arabian Gulf yeah uh, yeah I was born there went to university there went to school there uh, computer studied computer science uh, I learned programming when I was uh, 16 years old uh, uh, growing up I love I was in love with math in general I, I just fall in love with mathematical uh, uh, solving and solving mathematical problems I, I just fall in love with that and i wanted to make more uh just that's that's what i want i know i i, I love solving math and and when i was 16 my uncle introduced me to programming uh first book he ever gave me was visual basic 5 learning visual basic and i and just fall in love with programming and computers back in 1997 I think, or 1996. Uh, that's when we, uh, 1995, we got our first computer. My dad bought, bought me a computer. And it just, uh, you know, I just fall in love with these machines. It's just like the power that you can uh, tell a machine to do whatever you want, right? Just to build a program, build an application, and just feed it to the machine, and it will do it. And that, that fact to a kid, but a teenager was really really good you know and yeah I started building applications and just random apps I went to a lot of stuff building a lot of small and tools you know uh, yeah went to that lead me to computer science obviously studied there and then graduated computer science um, building a lot of apps and just for fun uh, right, I wish I can I have some sort of a repository with those apps but I don't anymore unfortunately but yeah so uh, started working career 2005 my first job was uh, at a ESRI di uh, distributor in Bahrain still I'm in my country I didn't leave it at all right so that you're talking about what 2005 so I was like 20, 22, 23 years old. And yeah, so it's like uh, started working on GIS, uh, moved to a lot of jobs. Uh, again, just GIS, geographic information system, building applications on top of this platform, right? And then uh, in 20, uh, 2014, 2013, uh, I got, uh, I started. Uh, Maybe slightly before that, I started my blog in 20, 2009, uh, just writing about technology, writing about things I care about, writing about uh, a lot of uh, things that interest me in my blog. And that uh, one of the things is what I was working on, which is uh, ArcGIS technology. I was writing, a, right, I was not getting anything. Just, I want, I had always this feeling that uh, I like to share my knowledge with people. I love when my knowledge impacts others and that gives me a really nice feeling. So I started doing that. I started my blog uh, and that uh, led me in 2013 
uh, I got an email from a publisher uh, in the UK asking me, hey, Hussein, we saw your blog on this technology posted on this date. My hand hurts, so flowing to the other hand. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, I started, uh, yeah, so it's, I got this email from the publisher saying, hey, uh, are you interested in writing a book with us? And uh, after a little bit of hesitation, talking to my wife, I said, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's do this. All right. So it was a scary, really scary experience for me because like, oh, there's a contract. What if I can't make it? What if the book sucked? What if, what if nobody liked it? What if my English is not even... My, my English is literally my second language, or if you, if you count Persian, which is my mom's tongue, it's like my third language, so I know three languages, right? So it's like my Arabic, Persian, little Persian, not that much, but, but yeah, it's like literally English was the third language I learned, right? So yeah, it's like, how can I write a book? So I just did it. And the, pub <laughs> the, uh, the publisher really helped in the editing and I uh, was glad that I took that offer. Uh, that exploded and that was good. And after that, I wrote more books, more and more books after that. But it was really, really, really interesting, this experience, this whole experience. Uh, just, we're all scared of doing things in general. We're really really scared you know it's like from approaching a, a opportunity and you never know until you try new things that you are really good at or not or people you don't judge you know you just put your work out there and people will be the judge of that work right guys so that's what I did I, I put my work out there I got the one stars I got the five stars on Amazon but I don't care you know it's like some people will have really good co good reviews and good comments some people will not like it so this is the life it's just like this uh idea of just you guys this is just a general video not only about myself about you as well if you are good at something or if you think your work can impact others just go and do it really guys <laughs> i swear you'll never a lot of people some people feel shy and i understand i i was shy all my life i mean even the youtube channel i started the youtube channel in 2014. Uh, that, that's that's five years after or six years after i started my blog you know it's just like talk me a lot i can't talk it's really the the first video i published is like i don't i don't even i didn't even talk right i know guys uh, the five minutes is up but i'm just gonna ramble so um, I apologize if this video is too long for you, but uh, I'll need to talk about this. So yeah, yes. So yeah, guys, just do it, right? And if it sucks, it sucks. You're gonna make another video. You're gonna get in slightly better. You're gonna make another work that gets slightly better. And that's what I did with all my books. I published four books so far, just because I have this momentum. And I got I got lazy after the fourth book I, I stopped for two years but this get, this takes me to the uh, experience in 2014 when I started my YouTube channel started posting about GIS and arc objects and things that I know right I was just talking about things that I'm I'm really good at I'm real I was really good at arc object a lot of a lot of code arc objects so it says hey I know this stuff and I know people are paying for this and I and, and that means people want to learn about this why don't I make something for them for free so I made that channel and I was talking about arc object this this channel this very channel go and watch my go on my videos and just click on videos first one a videos ever sort ascending right all their videos first you'll see the first video is basically the arc objects video I guess it's, it's I guess 16k views or something but that means people, 16,000 people wanted to know this. You know, if I didn't know this, if I didn't post this and I said, hey, uh, there are a lot of blogs out there talking about arc objects. That was like in back in 2014, right? Oh, why are you talking about arc objects? A lot of people are talking about it. Well, I have 16,000 people that disagree. 
right? This is the same thing, guys. You might think, you might think that your work doesn't matter, but you might be wrong, you know? Just go out there and put your work out there. Okay, let's move to the rest of my story here. 2014, I put all these videos, I started putting, I think, a video a month. I wasn't consistent at all, which is something really bad to do on YouTube. I wasn't doing it right, right? Uh, yeah, so I wasn't doing it really well, but, but I was posting. Uh, whenever I had the time, I was posting that, right? And I was in, in my older job in Bahrain. That's just 2014, I'm still in Bahrain. I'm still, uh, I was back then in, in a government job. Uh, with the utilities building applications for utilities electric and water that's my that's my niche and, and career wise <sighs> yeah so uh, 2014 yes after 2015 uh, I, 2014 I started applying for jobs outside Bahrain because I was really scared and and you can you can see that the uh, the anxiety in, in me like I was breaking it slowly slowly and, and that and that uh, that took a lot of courage from just speaking from just writing first 20, 2009 all right uh, and then after writing I went to uh, recording videos and then talking right about videos just to screen share and then up until can you guess guys up until 2017 late 2017 i had the courage to put my face out there go to look at my videos i never put my face out there i just like i i always think i'm ugly or i i don't look good or uh, i don't want people to make fun of me hey why is there your nose like that or why is your eyebrows like that so i was like always insecure about that now, i'm glad that I, that I broke that and i started posting that. and guess what nobody actually comments on on how how you look they they care about your content right <sighs> so <laughs> all right guys back i know i'm jumping left and right but i hope you're staying in course of the story career right the career so we're 2014 2015 i started applying uh for moving to the other hand it's really man man no stamina i'm telling you all right, so yeah, 2014, I started applying for other jobs. I wanted to move to Dubai. I wanted to move to Kuwait. Really, maybe Saudi Arabia or somewhere near this strip, right? The Gulf Strip. I wanted to move there, right? I wanted to be close to family because it's, it's really scared to move in general. But I says like, let me do it, right? Five minutes, yeah, guys, 13. <laughs> You'll always notice this in my videos. Like I will say, hey, one minute video. It just turned out to be 20. All right, guys. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to move to this country. So I applied to Dubai and that was a long process, guys. I got a lot of rejections, right? Despite all the work that I show, right? I show, hey, I am, I wrote four books. I do this. I wrote uh, I have this video channel I talk about I have a vlog but for some reason uh, back in 2013 if you have a blog in the Middle East that wasn't that wasn't something people interested in or companies are interested in a YouTube channel who did, oh, people didn't know even what a YouTube was right some most company a lot of companies didn't know like what YouTube was in 2013, 2012, right? It's just like, what is this video channel for social people? So they, a lot of companies didn't take it seriously. That's what I'm saying. So I was, and I was like active there, but I send my letters, you know, no replies or you're, oh, you, you're overqualified. Some, sometimes I get like this uh, two uh, extremes, right? Anyway, uh, finally, I got a reply from uh, Esri Dubai. Good, hey, Hussein, you have an excellent uh, working portfolio. You have a great resume. And not just the CV, but the work that you're doing outside, the books, uh, the YouTube channel, they were really excited about that stuff, man. And they said, uh, unfortunately, we're packed in Esri Dubai. 
right? But if you're interested, we want you to move to 20 to take a shot in, uh, in the core business in, in America, Israel Dubai, which is the core, right? It's the company in Redlands, in California. I was freaked out. I was literally freaked out. I got like weak knees and shit. It was really scary, right? Told my wife, said, hey, we have, we have a house here in Bahrain. We have, we built a life here, right? And I mean, I got married uh, in 2011. So, and we had all this uprest in Bahrain and a lot of problems. Uh, guys, I don't know if you know about this, but just, it was like, a, it was a very stressful uh, era in 20, 2011 to 2012 and 13. Uh, so yeah, it's like I was telling her, I was like, are you excited? Do, do you want to do this? Do you want to move to the States? We don't know anything about the States. We didn't, we never been there. I'm, we've been there to, funny enough, we've been there to our honeymoon in New York. And I don't think we went to California. We went to New York and Florida for our honeymoon. And that's it. Right, we didn't, but I don't know anything about the state, otherwise just the, it's a beautiful country, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, this is it, I got, uh, are you interested, should I, should I send my CV there? She said, yeah. She's like, man, my wife, I mean, I'm so lucky that I married her. I mean, all this anxiety and all this uh, uh, confidence she gave me, just all because of her. I'm, I'm telling you, right, seriously. She's a great partner. I mean, she moved me through phases in my life. And she said, hey, just do it. I wrote my first book before, because of her, right? I did, uh, I moved to my other job. I started applying for other jobs because of her. Right? I, I became who I am because of her, you know? It's like she has a lot of impact in my life. She's very patient. Moving to the other hand. All right, yeah, so I applied, right, and uh, got a phone call from uh, the solutions team in, uh, in Esri. So solutions team are, are the, so there are, uh, there are in ESRI, there is the development team, which they, which build product that I am now in, the development team. We build products like the ArcGIS, the ArcGIS Pro, the GeoDatabase, the actual products. And there's the other layer, the solutions team, which takes these products and builds solutions that are suitable for users, right? So these are the ArcGIS utility and electric, uh, electric utilities and a lot of use cases. They build a lot of solutions using the SDKs and the APIs. Let me get a better lighting here, yeah. So that's the solutions team. And the, the, the third tier is the professional uh, services where they, they take even the solutions, uh, solutions and they deploy them uh, at site to the customer. And sometimes they build their own solutions. So, so I was applying to Israel Dubai for the professional services job and I worked for them for a while. And, and, and they, they get like hand to hand with the customers directly, right? So they know the exact requirement most of the time. And so I got interviewed in the professional services first. That's the first tier, right? Or this third tier. And then I got interviewed by the solutions team. That was like took three, four maybe interviews, uh, which they bounced me around until I reached the development team and they interviewed me and they said i think and from the development team i was interviewed uh in different uh, different teams until i landed into the geo database team when i got the interview uh my friend uh, my colleague rich Rue, interviewed me and i think that what sealed the deal the interview he called me from uh, uh from colorado and yeah, I was pretty late there, so so we, we we managed to make a work, and he called me, and we did the interview. It was it was exciting, and what what we did is uh, he said uh, yeah, so so we we got uh, we got uh, was it was a really good interview, 
And then when we moved uh, until I got the email in, I would say January 2015, I'm not really sure. But it was like, I think that about that time, with the new year, just after the new year, I guess I, I made that wish. I threw a penny in a well or something in 2014, end of that. <laughs> that may, well, I wish came true or something. But yeah, in 2015, 20 minutes, guys. If you're still listening, kudos, guys. Yeah, if you're still listening, just type in in the comments. I, I, I reached uh, minute 20. So you're, that means that you're not bored yet. All right, look at this, Superman. Right, okay. Yeah, guys, okay, sorry, okay. Yeah, so interviews, a lot of interviews until I, uh, and might I say, I was nervous and in all the interviews, right? I was taking Nexium before in every interview because I have acid reflex and I was like, I can't eat and, all this like I, and I, I I need to talk about you guys because you, you always see that I don't want to paint myself as the perfect guy you know it's not the case it was I was really scared you know these interviews were really really nervous and uh, and thank God they like me for some reason and they said I got an email on January said hey okay I got an email in general say, hey, Hussein, we'd like to uh, invite you to an on-site interview. I didn't know what, what that is, so I Googled it, on-site interview. That means they fly you over and you do, you do an interview for a whole day. So, yeah. And I, thank God I got a visa, right? Because I, I was in my honeymoon, so I had a valid visa to travel. So I was able to travel. Otherwise, uh, that would be really weird, you know? I had to get the visa and all that stuff, but yeah, I had the visa. Moving on, I had the visa, uh, B1 visa, visitor visa. So I went to the state and I flew, and I think uh, my, my flight got delayed because of a fog in in, um, in Dubai. Or Abu Dhabi, I don't remember. And yeah, I got delayed in Abu Dhabi, and uh, it was a mess, but I emailed them. Uh, the HR and they just scheduled me to the, for the next day. So I went there and I had two days. Can you imagine, imagine guys traveling for 17 hours or 18 hours and just to do just three days or two days maybe and just go back. Man, that was painful. But I did it. We did the interview. Again, it was a very nervous day, but uh, I was able to make it. So the interviews basically is like from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Continuous, right? Continuous. One hour, uh, two people interviewing you. It was like the loveliest people I ever met. You know, guys, it's just like, uh, there wasn't actually challenging, challenging question. Nobody, nobody asked me like some technical deep questions. Most of the, most of the questions like, why do you want to work with Israel? Why are you leaving your country and traveling 8,000 miles to be here, right? And my answer was, I wanted to seek new opportunities. I want to, I want to learn from the people who built this cool technology, right? How does it feel like? And that was like my, my, my main answer. And I met a lot of smart people there, just People, I met people who actually built the geometric networks, which is something I was working on for 10 years. It's really weird to talk about, talk with someone who actually built the technology. It felt really, really odd. And it's just like, wow, did you, did you actually build that? That is cool. You know, it's just like, it's, it's amazing, guys. I don't know how you, you, if you feel that or not, but in general, right? Yeah, so went to the interview, went back, got an offer, accepted it uprooted my life literally from Bahrain and flew to the United States. I was in the state October 20, 2005. So that's more than two years now. I'm applying for my green card. That's like an H-1B visa, right? So I was in the H-1B visa. I'm still in an H-1B visa in the States. I'm really grateful to be here. That was like a brief 24 at minutes introduction about my life uh, I started doubling down my YouTube channel 
this year and last year as I told you like I started to make more more videos more consistently just because I want to talk about the stuff right uh, things that uh, I, I like to talk about in general all right yeah guys uh, what else I talk about my career my hobbies uh, in general if you if you follow me on Instagram you'll you'll know that I'm a big uh, fan of coffee in general I like to try new coffee shops coffee blends coffee beans and California Ooh, man. that is a lot of stuff to try man there's a lot of stuff to try here man I'm loving it so that's one another thing is video games uh, PlayStation I have PlayStation 4 I play video games a lot not uh, not as much in this year because I was I focus more on my YouTube channel but yeah guys 30 minutes I think it's a brief introduction to this channel <laughs> that's a lot I don't think new subscribers will subscribe to this channel just after watching this video like oh, man hey, this guy talk a lot so I'm not gonna talk about I'm not gonna sub but yeah sub or not sub guys I hope you uh, enjoy the content that I put and I really, really, if you reach the end of the comment, just leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of this journey in general? What do you want to take this channel to? I don't know what the future holds, but I know that I'll just keep creating for you guys. And, and I know I'd, I want to just build cool stuff. So I whatever my knowledge is i want to put it out there and I, I i like to extend this advice for you guys too if you are good at something don't hold it then don't hold it in just put it out there you will never know if, you, if you're good into i don't know if you if you're if you're really good at fishing i know nothing about fishing right just do and make a video about how to fish right Right? It's just like in general, if, you, if you're good in video games like, and you're really excellent in a specific genre like role-play games or first-person shooter, put videos about that or put content about that. Just do what you like. I watch people play video games, believe it or not. I, I find the time. I, have the, I find the 30 to 25 minutes. The, to watch people my, my that I really enjoy their content like Lobos Jr. and on YouTube was like they, they his content is they like play video games but in a challenging so for example if if the game is Dark Souls he played it fist only right he doesn't use swords which is crazy because this game is crazy hard as is not to mention just remove the weapons altogether so that's kind of things that just excite me in general all right, guys, I'm going to sign out. Uh, five minutes turned into 30. All right, guys, uh, this was an introduction for the channel. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it as a channel banner or not, but it's out there, guys. You guys stay awesome. I am now uh, in Timicola. I live here now. Uh, we bought a house and really beautiful city. Look at this lake. Guys, this is Hussein Nasser signing out. You guys stay awesome. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Goodbye.